Earlier this week, my pal Carlin challenged me to do something for him. You see, he runs a therapy business and every week he takes his clients through an assessment. What he wanted to do was build an app that tracked each of these people's assessments over time, week to week. Here's what that app looks like. Here you can see we have three different people that we're tracking assessments for. And when you click into someone, you can see each of the questions we're wanting to track uh, over time. We can dive into previous assessments to see the ratings, and then each week we can click start assessment and then rate this person across the different categories. When we do that, we see the new assessment appear down here. And then we can also see the assessment rating for each question reflected in the chart. So we can see how the person is progressing over time. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how to build this app in Glide. Let's get started. All right, so you wanna have a list of people. So we have our users here and for each one of those users, you want to do an assessment every week, rating them on a scale of one to five, I assume. And then you want to do charts over that. We can talk about that. Maybe the chart's not that important because I guess I could just pull the data and chuck it into like a proper chart program. Yeah. Like, I guess Google Sheets does it pretty easily. So we'll call this like weekly assessment. And then we need to know the date, the user it's for, and then the different things that you're checking. So still eat a couple of these. All right, I'm gonna change this to a dates column. This is gonna be the email for the user. Does it have to be email? Well, whatever you, your unique identifier uh, is. Oh yeah, in the, in the user column, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then this will be like, we'll just call these question one. Question. And I'm gonna do do a number. Cause I think the rating thing does a a number behind it. Yeah. I and I'll do good. like three questions. All right, now let's delete all this. And then we can go through and add our first one. So what you have or what you're gonna have I think you said is like you'll have a list of your users, right? Yeah. Okay. So you'll probably want to like click on the user and then you'll have a list of all their assessments. Yeah. So we'll do an inline list. This is going to look at the weekly assessment. And then we want to match the email on the assessment to the email on this screen. So the user screen that we're on. And then we can sort that by date. There's nothing there yet, because we haven't added anything. <laughs> so we'll do a button to start assessment. And then this will open up a form. So I think that's what you had before. So show form screen, new assess assessment. And then we want to fill out these five fields that we just added before. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So the date we know is just going to be today. So we can use the special value column for current date time. Uh, so similar to how we're going to grab the current date, I also want to grab the email from the screen that we're on. So not the current logged in user, but the email of the screen we're on. And that's going to go to email. And so both of those are written behind the scenes. And then we just need to populate the ratings that we were going to do. So rating, do the rating component. Put that up to five. And that'd be the same if you just had a number component and you type a number in. Yeah. Yeah. So question one, two, and three. So start assessment, three, four, five, submit. Now the weekly assessment shows up here and then you can, um, you know, show whatever you want here. So you can do it in like a table. So I'll, I'll do this often. So question one, question two, question three, and then you can have your different people. And then give me an idea of like 
what you'd want to do chart wise yeah it'd be good just to see the change over time so compare week to week so bar graph would be good just to sort of see the change like per question so question one yeah per question that's right yeah so let's do let's add in a couple of dates here um And then we can do on the user itself. So charts, I don't totally love how the charts are done in Blide. I was having a frustrating session with this last week. The uh, colors are a bit annoying because they do just random colors, it seems. Well, for me, it's more about the, the data itself, like getting the data formatted. The way you want to do it is, I think, pretty straightforward. So if we do, yeah. we can do, we can do it through relations. So like on the user table, We'll do a relation or a link from, so we'll just call this assessments and go from email to the weekly assessment email and match multiple. So this has the three different assessments. All right, let's see what this does. Um, so on the user screen, we can add in a chart. So this is at assessments. The label is the date, the quantity is question one. So I guess this would be like your change over time. The ordering's kind of off. Um, just got did these reverse. More realistically, it'd be this way. Because when you add a new one, it would always be at the end of the sheet. And then we can change this to just show the date itself. And now you have October 10, 17, 24. And then what I've done for this in the past for different questions is, uh, if we call this like, just way of like a little lookup. So you do one, two, three. And then in the user table, we can store so I didn't need these lookup columns and delete these. Question to show. So this is just gonna allow you to toggle through the different question charts. So I just need somewhere to store this in the data. So if I do a label, or not label, um, a choice component. And I'm gonna write to that question to show field I just created. And I'm going to populate it from my category question options that I also just created. And then mark that as required. And then this chart should show when the question to show equals one, because this is where we're showing question one. And then you could do uh, question two and three. So like Q1, Q2, Q2, Q3, yeah. and then they just need to be pointed to the other questions. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, perfect. So what, um, is this something that you're going to use just like with your clients? Yeah, yeah, just to sort of track their progress and yeah, measure over time what's going on. Yeah, cool. And then I put that info in their reports and things when we're reporting to like their disability service and stuff like that. Cool, and that should get you kick-started on that project. Yeah, thanks Darren, that's super awesome, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Share that. I just have a, a quick question about like, like is Glide's privacy stuff all pretty good like there are a way you can sort of suss out what their privacy so there is a page in their documentation that talks about their security yeah and that is the official place that i'm supposed to point people to when they ask about security when i'm doing live yeah live stuff that's cool it's just it's just because like for me i'm sure this is fine and there's nothing really confidential that i'm going to be putting on here really so but I guess at some point, if I wanted to build out these apps and then 
share them with other people for them to use with their own clients, um, then that would be a question that would come up and I would just, yeah. Yeah, my general response is like, if you trust Google's security, then you should trust Glide's security because it's like the same kind of system. Not yeah. saying anything about like, Glide is doing with your data what Google does with your data. We're not saying that. We're just talking about like security. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool.